Okay, so here is a, a little update. This is a not a huge update, but uh, just wanted to keep the keep the channel going. So I am going to paint or at least prime this roof uh, with some rust converting primer. I've been trying to take off all the trim. You can see that the uh, the band on top of the roof is kind of taken off. Um, I can't get it off of right there. In order to do that, I gotta take this entire window trim off. And that's uh, that's a lot of screws. And and it removes the weather strip and all that, and I really don't wanna do that because then I lose the ceiling uh, uh, properties against the against the window glass and then water and crap can get into the cabin so I'm gonna leave that there I'm gonna tape tape it all up as best I can and then I'll spray around it um, I've taken the trim off of the back window and the windshield I just removed the windshield notice these clips I'm holding the trim and I'm pointing out the pointing out the clips with the trim so the the clips they slide into the back of this channel here and you can see that it's really kind of hard to get them out without uh, kind of screwing up the trim. I had to use a couple screwdrivers and very very carefully pry it out and you know it's it, you can see that it's damaged a little bit. I'm going to I think I can maintain uh, the quality or the condition of it you know bend it back with some pliers very gently um, and reuse it. It's just very, very tough to keep it in good shape. Like, you can see that one right there. That's the other side. That's the driver's side. It's a little wavy from me prying up on it. In order to get this thing off, I have to take this off. In or and then as soon as I take this off, there are two screws right there that hold this uh, Landau, I think it's a Landau, Landau top, to, the, to this, and then there are two, um, plastic clips that are right there and then that portion right there just kind of uh, covers the gap. Um, you can see right here these are called weld studs. There are little clips, little plastic clips that go onto these uh, to hold this trim on. I've, I've removed them and put them in a plastic bag. Let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, right here. So the black ones go up top, the beige ones go along the side of the car and they hold on the trim that goes along here. This, these I can't get off. I think they're bolted in from the other side. So they're bolted in from the back of the trunk because it kind of feels, it kind of feels like they have a little stud, like a, a, a threaded stud going through and then there's probably a nut on the other side. I looked in my um, service manual but it didn't, I didn't see anything related to this, and I can't find my parts manual. Um, it's probably inside somewhere, but I was too lazy to go grab it. So these I'm gonna have to leave on here. You'll notice that I've already primed the deck lid. I uh, took a day and sanded and primed it. Um, you can see here that I've got the trim almost off the, the uh, driver's side. Well, I'll see if I can pry that out. That one uh, is kind of, that one's kind of tricky, but you'll notice that this is the channel where the trim fits in, and the the butyl is still in really good shape. When I pried off these opera windows, it was still stuck on there quite well, and it, have, it was very it was still gummy after you know 40 years. This section right here was filled with bondo. You can see here the bondo is still present. Uh, I'm just going to sand over this, and then sand in here and prep it as best I can and then after I paint and prime and all that I'm gonna come in here and rebondo this I have not chipped any of it out of the other side I think it might still be in good shape let's see step over that yeah it's not in too bad a shape I might just leave this just to sand it and Maybe put a skim coat over it once once uh, once it's painted. I'm not sure yet. I've I've never used Bondo. I'm not a body guy, as I've said before. I'm a mechanic. I do not screw around with body work very much. So this is all learning to me. Um, I will be taking these off um, and prepping them. You know, cleaning them. 
you can see that they're kind of degraded but you know um, whatever so I'll be cleaning them as best I can uh, and then I'm going to prime them with maybe a white primer and then I'll paint them bright white because I want this to be white I want these stainless pieces to gleam so gonna have to take a Dremel with a polishing buffing pad or whatever and polish them up and then I would love I would love to have a white um, white vinyl top put on after I paint the whole thing black so all right this, so this camera is getting pretty hot I'm using my cell phone right now so I'm gonna finish up this video and I'll just uh, add some pictures to the end of the video all right thanks